New York City marathons this weekend. I'm really excited to get down to New York to get into the excitement around the race and tow the start line on Sunday. So for this week's video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how I feel my preparation is for the race and then what my plans are for race day. So beginning a marathon build only seven weeks out from race day isn't ideal, but it's the time that I had and I wanted to make the most of it. So when I wrote my marathon training plan, I included 15 key workouts and I wanted to hit at least 12 of them. I was only able to get around to doing 14 of those key workouts, but I am really excited to say that I hit 13 of them. And a few of the standout workouts for me are getting in a long run that was up to 36 kilometers. I did another long run where the last 15 kilometers were at my goal marathon pace. And I got in some really good tempo runs, which is a type of run that I've really struggled with in the past. In terms of overall volume, I wasn't all that impressive. I got in 442 kilometers over the six previous weeks, so I was averaging about 74 kilometers a week. Part of this was by design, just I haven't been training a lot this year, especially running, so I was substituting a lot of easy running with time on the trainer just to minimize my risk for injury. My biggest week was a 99 kilometer week back in September, and there was only one week where I really missed my mileage goal, and that's when I was working in Hawaii and I just didn't have the time to put in the miles. Overall, I feel really good about the work that I did over the past six weeks. You can always find ways to nitpick and wish that you got a little bit more out of yourself, but if I'm being realistic, I did about as good as I could have expected. So what's the plan for New York? In terms of numbers, I'm shooting for something between a 246 and a 250 marathon. So something around four minute kilometers, maybe just under that. Now my plan to get there is making sure that I run through 10K in 41 minutes or slower. So 41 minutes is 406 kilometers, so that's actually gonna put me behind the pace that I need to be running. But in my last couple of marathons, I've gone out of the gate really hard and I've really struggled home in those closing kilometers. And anytime I've been able to negative split any sort of race, I've always felt really good and really strong. So I wanna set myself up to have the best chance to negative split this race. So really holding back in those first 10 kilometers is gonna be really key. Now come race day, is that something that I'm gonna be able to do? I sure plan on being disciplined to be able to execute that. Whether I've got the strength and the endurance in my legs, I'm not quite sure. With only really five and a half weeks of training with a 10 day taper, I can't be super confident that I'm gonna be able to keep it together. But again, I wanna give myself the best chance. So thanks a lot for checking out this week's video. Good luck to everybody else who's gonna be racing in New York City or if you're in Hamilton or any other race this weekend. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this new crazy mother.